Let's find the derivative of the square root of x using the limit definition of the derivative. So f of x here is just square root of x. We'll begin by plugging in our root x into this definition. So we have the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x all divided by h and we're taking the limit as h approaches zero. In order to get rid of these pesky square roots, we'll multiply by the conjugate of the numerator. The conjugate just means that we flip the sign in the middle. So we multiply by the square root of x plus h plus root x but we have to put that in the denominator too so that we're multiplying by one. Once we do this multiplication in the numerator, you should be pretty familiar with the conjugate at this point, we're just gonna get the difference of squares. So instead of root x plus h, we'll just have x plus h. And instead of minus root x, we'll have minus x. That's the whole point of the conjugate in this situation, to turn the sum or difference of square roots into the difference of squares. Now that the numerator is just x plus h minus x, the x's cancel out, which just leaves an h in the numerator. The h then cancels out with the h in the denominator. So all that's left in the denominator is the root x plus h plus root x that we multiplied by in the previous step. So we now have the limit as h approaches zero of one over the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. At this point, we can just plug in zero for h. Plugging in zero for h, the denominator is just root x plus root x, so the limit is one over two root x. Thus, we've proven that the derivative of the square root of x is one over two root x, which if you prefer, you could write as one half times x to the negative half.